Hey there, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to briefly discuss Booleans. Booleans, in case you're unfamiliar with this term, is basically a term to use for operators that convey either true or false statements. And these are really important later on when we deal with control flow and logic, because lots of times we want to check if a certain condition has happened, in other words, if a certain condition is true, in order to execute some code. For example, you may want to check, hey, is my pool empty? If that is true, then go ahead and turn on the water to fill up the pool or other things of that nature. So that's why Booleans are really important. And a lot of times we won't be dealing with Booleans directly in the terms true and false, but we'll actually have comparison operators and logical operators that return a Boolean value. So let's very quickly show you what these actually look like, and then we'll explore them later on in a lot more detail when they become more useful to us. Let's hop over to a Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so Booleans, there's true and false, and in Python, you need to make sure that you have capitalized T in order for it to be true. Otherwise, if you have lowercase t, it's just going to complain, hey, you didn't uh, define this term true because it thinks you're calling a variable. Instead, make sure that you have capitalized T, and it's the same for false. You're going to need to capitalize F for false. So here we have true and false, the main Booleans, and we can check their type by saying type, oops, make sure I capitalize that T, type false, and it says B-O-O-L for Booleans. And Booleans is what we're going to be dealing with when we're dealing with logical code. And a lot of times what we're going to be doing is working with comparison operators to create Booleans. And we're going to go over all the comparison operators later on in this course. But to show you a very simple example, there's comparison operators that check if something is greater than something else. So we can say, hey, is 1 greater than 2? So there's just a simple mathematical expression there. And it returns back a Boolean false. 1 is not greater than 2. And then you can do other things like check for equality with two equal signs instead of just a single equal sign. So is one equal to one, run that and it returns true. So these are called comparison operators and we'll be showing you all of them later on in this course, but we first have to tell you what they actually are returning, which are Booleans. All right, so those are Booleans, just simply true and false, and the type is B-O-O-L. They'll be critical later on in this course. And finally, I want to mention that we can use the none keyword as a placeholder for an object that we don't want to assign yet. So maybe later on I want to assign B to something in my code, but for right now I just need to have a placeholder for it so I don't get this error of, hey, B is not defined. What I can do is say B is equal to none, notice the capital N there, and it's a none data type. And we've actually seen that before when we were dealing with in place methods off a list. Remember that when we sorted the list in place, it returned back none. So when I type B here, I don't see anything out. But then what's nice is I also don't see that error of it not being defined. Okay, that's really the basics of Booleans. We're going to work on this a lot more later on in the course. I'll see you at the next lecture.